Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Green to episode 17 of Fire Force. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. too late now. Happen? Yeah. Oh, don't be such a baby. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. Yeah, but you know, he hard headed. He likes bucket. I gotta go. So loud about that damn donkey. <laughs> so lay down, baby. Um, go play. You're not gonna kill him because Sinra's gonna come in and save his ass. See? Go lay down. Go. Go lay down. Come here. <laughs> But you gotta, you can't hang out here with me. Maybe for a couple of minutes. Can we just have Shinya's brother finally, like, show up and kick his ass? Because it's just better being bad. Let me add some help. 
You'll be fine. So basically fires that are like a tentacle. Okay. Seen a lot of hands I didn't know where this is going. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh! Damn. <laughs> Well, yeah, so then why don't you just take everything off? Or have someone else do your bidding. You switch. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. I don't think he's going to come to you so easily. I know though! <laughs> yeah, but he's not going to come to you. I mean, you could kill him if you want. That's up to you, though. Oh! Shit. 
Et... He's so cute, even though he's a bad guy. Oh my god. Oh. You got out of Thank god. She did have feelings, you know, being in the family, but, you know, she bad. And she always got to remember that. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, no Joker. Hmm. You know Joker's gonna hurt feel. I mean, come on. Well, um, same thing with Victor, right there, but <laughs> y'all don't see that yet. It'll be okay. I mean, it's okay. It was bound to happen no matter what. I mean, because if Lisa would have come with you guys, and if she, you know, if we found out she was a bad guy later on, 
You would have had two traitors up on your nose, Lisa and Victor, but. But, okay, hold on. Okay, how can you be so sure that you can bring Lisa back? Him and everybody else at eight. <laughs> oh, that is such bullshit, dude. Well, yes, but it's a little weird how you were also there. I mean, she got an excuse. You, mm, Waldo looking ass, like, no. Dude, it's probably going to take you to the end of the dang season. Maybe. I don't know. So then you probably wouldn't have a fan service scene today. <laughs> that to be the reason why. <laughs> yeah. He would make a good husband though. See, hold up. No. Mm -mm. Someone who eats like that. Uh -uh -uh. <laughs> right trainer on that forehead. Well, I knew he was going to say yes. So. Probably for closer. And then maybe leaving something behind. But mostly closure. No. 
Something changed, you know. This episode also went by really fast, too. Last week and this week. But seeing Cho and Shinra finally, like, interact with each other. I've been waiting for that ever since Cho finally made a fucking appearance in this show. But he's so freaking cute. Oh, my God. Like, I know, like, typically most girls, maybe even guys, too, who are probably watching this this show. Are all going for Shinra because you know he good looking and stuff. I would too because he is very interesting and cute. But Joe is so adorable. I'm sorry, even though he's a bad guy, you have to love him. I would literally cuddle the shit out of him. You're just so cute, oh my god. But I, I mean, I'm hoping like because every single time I watch the show and I see that opening now and I see these two fighting, like hopefully before this first season is done, um. Maybe I think it says like it has like about like the episodes from what I remember. I want it to be like maybe towards like episode thirty or even forty for them to finally fight this fight. I mean, because like with this fight, it just showed you how nah, would I kind of say OP for show in a way? Yes, how OP show is to Shinra's powers and such. Having Joker be here because we haven't seen Joker for a while, which is very interesting to have him there. But, I mean, there are two different um, groups all winning Shinra for two different things. And I just want these two to just kick some ass and, you know, beat each other up. Oh, wait, are you serious? <laughs> it's different. It makes you stand out even more. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, that's all I really want. I do want Valkan to kind of get Lisa back, but then at the same time, it's just, with the fact that we now know that Lisa's been bad for as long as she's known Valkan, ever since she was a kid, up until now, I don't think there is a way for her to come back and try to really be good, because she's been hiding with the, uh, with the mask on for such a long time that she's... You know, she's had possibly actual feelings for both you and Valkan, and you could tell, but that last part where Valkan was like, you know, Lisa, come on, he was having holding his hand out for her, and she went like this, but then she, like, at the last second, took it away, indicating that she's like, you know, this chapter of my life, spending however long I was with you, and also you as this family is over. I have to be who I really am, which is evil. But I still, like, th there's a little part, something inside of her. Maybe. It may not be now. It may not be, you know, in the next few episodes. It may be sometime later. Um, she'll eventually want to be good again. Do I feel like if she becomes good once again, she'll immediately die? I I'm on, like, 50-50 about that. Because typically sometimes in other animes where I've seen they, it, it's a traitor, and then they, you know, flip-flop back and forth. Eventually, by the time when the bad guys also find out that they've been flip-flopping, two-timing them, yeah, the character eventually, mm, five out of ten possibly gets killed, maybe? It's not 100% sure, but, I mean, with her, I think she could possibly survive. But I think, like, if, if she, if something happened, and if Geo 
or Sho possibly found out. Like, I felt like Sho would just immediately kill her no matter what. Same thing with Giovanni because Giovanni, like I said <laughs> last week, I don't like him as a character. I still think he's very interesting, but he is just way too creepy for me and such. But now, since we know that, yes, Lisa's a traitor, da da da, Dr. Giovanni is a traitor, I just need them to hurry up and get the shit on Victor because he he's brand new. He's in the group. I mean, come on. We, as <laughs> people who have read this manga and people who are currently watching this anime, like myself, now we already know he's a traitor. We've known for, like, I think several episodes since the first episode he came out and stuff. Um, and then, like, I think some of us forgot because I kind of I kind of forgot. And then at the same time, I remembered once I saw his face again and such. But, I mean, like, it is a little weird to have him in this group because I feel like there's going to be a point where he's just going to be like, it's going to be like maybe two, three weeks from now. We're going to see him in his room and see whatever he's plotting or scheming and stuff, who he's talking to. So it has to be he's either going to be talking to show or Joker and stuff. And then somebody's going to want to come in to talk to him. And then he's going to have this button and he's going to switch the room back around like it's normal and such. And then they're going to have another conversation or anything because okay you can see Hibana is like really on his ass from this episode because of the fact that she don't trust him I don't trust him because it's like hmm how in the world were you also there she had an excuse she had a freaking um something on Iris for her to hear and that's how she got her ass over when the hell did you get over here we know you bought a truck and thank god you know he came in to save them but it makes me wonder like he had maybe something, tracking device, hearing device, whatever, maybe not on Iris, but possibly either Arthur or Shinra to the point where he came out of nowhere or showing them, told Victor to be there by the time that they were there. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I mean, come on, something about this does not make sense. His story is like right now, they're going to be all jumbled up or maybe he might get them straight, but there's going to be a point in time where they are going to do an investigation on his ass and they're all going to find out that he's a fucking traitor and they might even kill his ass or even beat his ass up and ask him where the fuck show is. I don't know. We ain't going to know until probably what? <laughs> Whenever. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 17 of Fire Force. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 18. Bye, guys.